New details out tonight about special counsel Robert Mueller after a report says that the former FBI director was once forced to answer questions about allegations the FBI cheated on sensitive surveillance warrants. Investigative journalist John Solomon broke the story this week and joins me now, along with Fox News legal analyst and author of The Russia Hoax, out this Tuesday in paperback, Greg Jarrett. Gentlemen, thanks for being here. Now, John Solomon, I, I got to tell you, I am always amazed that you get these things and get these stories and find out this information. When you talk about in your latest article that Mueller was hauled before the FISA court, the very FISA court, that he is in a position as special counsel to oversee what Comey, his pal, and the rest of them did, I say to myself, this is truly the fox watching the hen house. Tell us what what happened, John? Yeah, it's a great story, and it's very important for this reason. Remember when Devin Nunez first started asking questions about the FISA and possible omissions about Hillary Clinton funding it and uh, innocence of some of the people that were being targeted? James Comey, uh, Rod Rosenstein were all saying, listen, the process is so aggressive. The oversight is so amazing. There's no chance for any yeah. abuse. I'll calm down. Well, it turns out that system was pretty broken. We found out uh, through reporting that there were more than 75 instances in the early 2000s where the FBI submitted a FISA warrant in a counterterrorism, counterintelligence case and it was erroneous. It had omitted information of innocence. Just all the things that we're now talking about in the 2016 uh, FISA warrant with Carter Page, it went on before and the court got so mad, the secret court got so mad, they hauled Bob Mueller in and said, you got us some explaining to do to us. How are you going to fix this? And he put some more procedures in place and we now know from the 2016 case, those procedures were blown past and omissions and errors were in, uh, submitted to the court again, this time to target Trump and his campaign. But, John, um, is there any way for us to know whether or not the FISA court is, 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 is claiming that any wrongdoing was done as it related to the 2016 situation, the way they hauled in Mueller yeah. for the mistakes that he made? You know, occasionally the court will release something publicly, but they've been remarkably silent for two years. And the president, in my recent interview yeah. with him, he mentioned that. Where's the court? A lot of the members in Congress are warning, where's the court? I think 2019 is a year where we might hear from them. Inspector General report comes out on this issue probably in the spring or early summer. That would be an opportune time for the court to finally tell us, do they think they were defrauded like the evidence suggests? All right. Greg Jarrett, I'm not going to waste your time with whether or not Mueller has a conflict of interest. Uh, that's another <laughs> issue. Yeah, but, but, but tell me, wh who is in a position to say that Mueller should not be there, given the fact that he clearly has a conflict, that he clearly has done wrong before? He's left out information so much so that the secret, the most secretive court in the United States right. has hauled him in and rebuked him. Well, it's too late now to remove him. He's at the end. Whitaker testified that, uh, you know, he has not interfered with Mueller and his investigation. Nobody has. But John's excellent reporting underscores something important. The FISA system is badly, egregiously broken. This is a secret court. It's not an adversarial process. Uh, it's reminiscent of the infamous star chambers in the 16th century Great Britain. Uh, it's inherently structured in a way that's unfair. And in this particular case, the, the Trump Carter Page spying by the FBI and the Department of Justice, I mean, they violated just about every rule that had been instituted. And the FISA court never even held a single hearing on this. They took paper submissions on it all because they have so many applications, an average of 29 a week. So they have to trust the honesty, the credibility, the integrity of people like James Comey, Andrew McCabe, Rod Rosenstein, Sally okay. Yates, who all concealed evidence and deceived the judges. All right. Well, you know, thank goodness for John Solomon's reporting. But, John, I'm going to go back to you. My favorite sure. guy is this guy, Adam Schiff, who's so <laughs> convinced that there is evidence that, you know, when we say there's no evidence, he says, well, it's coming out soon. John, tell yeah. us about your reporting on Adam Schiff and Glenn Simpson.
Sure. You know, uh, we had a big moment this week. Uh, the Senate Intelligence Committee, through Richard Burr, the chairman, announced that they, they too, like uh, the House, had found no evidence of collusion with Russia. So as the evidence of collusion uh, with the Russia-Trump uh, investigation disappears, becomes just a political dirty trick, the evidence of Democratic collusion begins to grow. And so Glenn Simpson met this past summer with uh, Adam Schiff at the Aspen Security Council. He didn't tell anyone in the House Intelligence Committee. Uh, they claim it was small talk, but it's exactly the type of contact that two years ago he demanded that Devin Nunez disclose to the committee. So now his standard has boomeranged on him, hit him in the back of the head on this. I have a story coming out tomorrow. More than a dozen instances of Democrats involved in the dossier or in the investigation having contact with Russians. The story that's going to change is going to be Democratic collusion in 2019. All right, Greg, you got 10 seconds. How do we make that a story of Democratic collusion well, other than you're writing another book? Look, it's in my book, uh, Remarks right. uh, by Russians that said we were talking more with the Hillary Clinton campaign and Democrats than we were uh, with Republicans and Donald Trump. So, you know, yes, Interesting. collusion, but it's Hillary, Russia, FBI collusion, not Trump. All right, guys. John Solomon, Greg Jarrett, thanks so much for being with us tonight.